If you're shopping for a new PC or CPU, you've likely seen Intel's CPU offerings of i3, i5, i7, and i9. But what's the difference? That's what we're going to have a look at in this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. We're going to be comparing the Intel CPU versions in several key areas. Use case, amount of cores, clock speed, and cache size. It's worth noting there are many generations of Intel CPUs and they produce several different models for each tier, so there will be a bit of a range in the performance mentioned. We're going to look at the most recent generation of CPUs, which is the 14th gen. Let's start with i3. These are typically for entry-level tasks like web browsing, office applications, and light media consumption. They have four cores and eight threads. Cores are like workers inside the CPU. Each core can handle one task at a time, so more cores mean the CPU can do more tasks simultaneously. Threads are like the tasks these workers handle. With features like hyperthreading, each core can manage two tasks or threads at once, making the CPU more efficient at multitasking. i3 has a max clock speed of 4.7 GHz. Clock speed is the rate at which a CPU executes instructions measured in GHz. Higher clock speeds result in faster processing. i3 has a cache size of between 10 and 12 megabytes. The cache is like a small super fast storage built into the CPU. It keeps important data that the CPU needs to access quickly instead of fetching data from the computer's RAM. The CPU will look in the cache first. The larger the cache, the more data the CPU can store close by, which helps it work faster. Moving on to i5, which typically offers mid-range performance for gaming, content creation, and multitasking. It typically has 6 to 14 cores with 12 to 20 threads, a max clock speed of 5.2 GHz, and a 20 to 24 MB cache. Now let's look at i7. If you're going for an i7, you can expect it to be capable of high-end gaming, video editing, 3D rendering, and heavy multitasking. It typically has 8 to 20 cores with 16 to 28 threads, a max clock speed of 5.6 GHz and 30 to 33 MB cache. Finally, let's move on to the highest tier, which is i9. This offers extreme performance for 4K gaming, 3D rendering, AI development, simulations, and high-end professional tasks. It has between 8 and 24 cores with 16 to 32 threads, a max clock speed of 6.2 GHz and a cache size of 36 MB. As you'd probably expect, CPUs range widely in price from the cheaper i3s to the ultra expensive i9s. I've left a link in the description below to a CPU from each tier so you can see the prices in your location. Which CPU do you use and do you consider the extra price to be worth it for the higher tiers? Let me know down in the comments and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.